The more than 50 former soldiers camping at the Ovaherero Traditional Authorities' headquarters initially vowed to stay put until they are granted veteran status by government. However, the conditions in which they are camping have become unhygienic, much to the concern of both the government and the Ovaherero Traditional Authority leadership. The State House meeting between the two parties revealed that some group members are willing to return to their homes while others simply refused. So let's decide now. We try with Red Cross or whatever, army, to provide transport to those who might be willing to go to their area. They ought to go there, of course, yes. And then uh, others, I don't know about that second option of relocating uh, here and the problem. But let's start with the first one. We're taking them home where they came from. That's a request that was made by Chief Tim. So that we do. If there are now troublemakers who know, they will come out because of their resistance, or they will be saying, and they will stay in a property illegal so that we kick in that they must be evacuated from that property. Those not willing to go back have also refused any assistance from government, prompting the involvement of the Red Cross Society. We, had, we were prepared to give some money to Red Cross to go and hire transport so that they go on the banner of Red Cross. We also offered what she has said, that we will give them two month ration of food for December and January, as the report of the minister was saying that they were, we had set a date of 13 December 2019. We also agreed that we'll give them breeding stock of goats because we knew that their presence, their absence from home, many of them lost their goats. So we had agreed with agriculture that we'll give each family a good number of goats to go and start their life off. That matter was not communicated because they didn't give us an opportunity to talk to them. You remember that we were not talking to them directly because they said they don't want us. I had sent somebody who I know who was speaking to them indirectly without knowing that they are coming from government. But they said that we will take the, the offers if they are coming from somewhere, but not from government. Also, there was a suggestion that um, services be brought to the house where we objected because we felt that bringing services to the house, you're not making any, you're not, you're not providing a sustainable solution, but in fact you're just exacerbating the situation that is there. So uh, basically that, that was the discussion that we had and ultimately we felt that um, I think also through the, the ED of the Ministry of Poverty that eventually the, there must be an incentive for those that are prepared to go back to the regions and the um, relocation package must be well defined. The leader of the Ovaherero Traditional Authority, Ombara Oshitambi, Vekwi Rukoro cautioned against the group being used to advance political agendas. This is where we feel uh, <coughs> should these uh, agenda provocateurs continue with this, at the end of the day, uh, both us as owners of the place and government through the city of Vendu that has a legislative or statutory responsibility for public health once those that have left, have left, then we can't have be held hostage by a politically motivated group that are trying to do funny things for their own political objectives. Then we'll have to step in and, and do what, what, what needs to be done in the interest of the broader society. The government task team assisted by the Ovaherero Traditional Authority and the Red Cross is to continue engaging the group, including those refusing to vacate the camping grounds. Blanche Gore says NBC News, Ventuk.